Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be taking my 50-50 envelope savings challenges that I saved up for nine months and we are going to be dispersing it to where I need it to go so you guys will see exactly what I did with my money. So if that is something that you guys want to see, stick around. The 50-50 envelope challenge is easy for if you're low income low budgeting or if you're just starting off with savings challenges something easy to try out now this is what it looked like i use these two cards here these are a6 challenge cards instead of doing one i ended up doing two and i just basically put the cash in these envelopes in the box they're not in order because when I, after i did it i just threw them back in the box but i did use these two boxes to save up all of this cash and um like i said I just took and the envelopes that I put money in I didn't have like a set schedule of when I put the money in the envelopes it's just when I had extra and a couple of them I did end up um, adding just a little bit extra to them so that is like an easy way to save if you're just starting out or if you don't have a lot of funds to work with um, and it's not stressful at all okay so do you guys remember how much I had in here do you so let's just count and I did kind of like made um, a little bit of bigger bills because it was big stack okay big stack yeah 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 2000 100 200 300 400 50 60 70 80 90 510 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 96 5 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82. All right, so we got $2,682. And this, I know people were asking me, was this challenge hard? It was, I'm going to put the hundreds and the fifties together, so that'll be, won't be too bad. Um, and we can just separate it like that. Um, cause usually I don't have all this much money when I'm doing my cash stuff and, or I could have just used my other tray, but, um, people ask me, was it hard to say? I'm like, no, this is actually not too bad for someone that's just starting out and you don't have to pressure yourself. Cause last year I didn't even get to finish the challenge. So this year I was like, I'm gonna double it up and I'm gonna finish this challenge because that was, you just set goals, just set financial goals for yourself. And if you don't finish it. Just next year, just try it a little bit, um, you know, just go at it a little bit more. Okay, so um, I did switch my binders out and I may, um, I don't know, I may condense it even more because I do have some new um, binders that I have. Um, so I may, I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna do. I have these and then I have um, different color ones. I have like um, pink, um, blue light blue and then I have purple of these so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my binders but for right now I just went ahead and this is my everyday cash spending wallet but I just went ahead and put it in I kind of like categorize them a little bit more because I want to be like a little bit more in depth with it. okay so the first thing we're going to do is I am going to stuff for our Thomas the train trip now the tickets and the hotel is already paid off so what we'll be looking at is i guess like food um if we want to do something special or anything like that so that's what i'm kind of putting money aside to because last year we didn't get to go cancel it and i said i was definitely going to take aiden to see thomas and percy i was like no counseling no nothing <laughs> I mean, it has to be something drastic, but I said, I'm not going to do that because he was so upset. So that was one of my goals for this year and everything is pretty much ready. So we're actually going to do $300. So I'm just going to do um, three one hundred, and that will actually go into our family fund envelope. So I did add some little trackers because I want to do better at tracking and tracking is not going to always be perfect. So if some days, what's today? Let's see. Today's 9.22. And then we're gonna add cash. And then we're gonna add 300. Tracking is not always gonna be perfect. Some days you might fall off the bandwagon. That's perfect. But you know what? At least you're trying. So we have 300 that we are gonna be adding. And I'll bring these closer so you can see these little trackers here. All right. 
and so i'm gonna try to explain to you guys exactly my envelopes and i'll go and do a sinking fund video and go through and show you how i kind of like broke it down a little bit i just like things broken down that's just how i learn how i get things done okay so next what i'm gonna do with my money is i'm gonna take and put 500 towards next year like i said i know how everything is in the economy but people still need vacations you still need to you know have a reset and do whatever you need to do so i'm going to go ahead and jump on next year's vacation so i'm going to start it off with 500 and then that'll give us like a boost for um because last year or well, this year we saved a thousand dollars and so we had a thousand dollars for our trip and you know what i'm saying and that was just money to enjoy ourselves all right so we're going to do 500 dollars. so we're going to take one two three four five y'all and it's early it is early and i beat little buddy up he's still knocked out <laughs> one two three four five yeah i beat him up okay so i'm gonna go to my vacation here so we're gonna put that in there all right so we're gonna add this what did I say today was? Y'all, I done forgot the date. Oh yeah, that's right, 22nd. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so add cash. And we're gonna do $500. And remember guys, with these savings, you put your hard work in, you saved, you did the, the leg work. <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna call it. So you spend your money how you want to spend it. If you don't wanna put it to sinking funds, totally up to you. Um, because you're the one that's doing your budget, you're dispersing it, so that's totally up to you. And it's, and I'm not gonna lie, it is hard trying to figure out where you're gonna do with it because you want to put your money, you know, you want to put it in the most important spots or the ones that is gonna be beneficial or the one that's gonna bring you joy. So that's what you want to do. So you have to kind of like brainstorm on what you're gonna do. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to trips and vacation. Got these a little bit out of whack. And that's this one. Okay. So trips and vacation is going to be gas. It's going to be just like what it says. It's going to be like gas because I know we went to vacation. I just had everything all clumped together, but I kind of wanted to figure out what we used, what we had, and then I think it'll be a little bit better. But um, what I would do is just basically, I would just pretty much like take my trackers with me and then we just deposit it into the account because we don't carry a lot of cash. Um, and then just use a check card and that way I can have like a, you know, a register of what we used. So for trips and gas, I'm gonna do $150. So I'm just gonna take 150. Put that in doll. So we got 150. And for the Thomas and Percy trip, I don't know if we're gonna to have to use this money because I don't think we're gonna use 300. I don't know, things have went up, so I could be wrong. But, um, I don't know i was in my mind i'm thinking that the 300 will cover everything but you know how it is like things are a little bit more um expensive so when you get down there it's actually more than what you thought so this will be we can use this as um gas money also all right so i think we are done with this little binder so this is just like more of like fun um doing things out and then also if you know if I want to get myself something or whatever but like I said I'm still kind of brainstorming on switching over my binders all right so this right here all right let me make sure I get my marker here I go ahead and get that ready okay so we're gonna hop down to let's go to property taxes I want to do this in order because I want to make sure that I don't get this dropped up okay so I think I kind of misjudged it's 152 but it's actually 153.90 just a little bit more um not too bad just a couple dollars and some change um so it's 153.90 now we do have $40 in here and I'm just trying not to get I could put the top on it but I'm trying not to get nothing <laughs> marked up with that marker all right so let's do 153 let's do 155 that's where i always round it up so we're going to subtract 40 dollars. so that leaves 115 so what i'm going to actually do i'm going to actually add just 120 because the property taxes for the cars never stops you're always going to have it so i'm just going to always like to roll it over until the next bill because this one is due december the 5th 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna stick this in here for right now just to keep it separate, but then I'm gonna get a cashier's check, I'm gonna mail it and then send it down there. Now, sometimes people ask me, why do you not write a check? Because number one, checks take so long to clear. People hold them and I know I've sent a check down there and it takes forever for it to come out of your account. And if you like to keep your checkbook balance, then that will definitely jack you up and throw you up. So if you can get a money order or a cashier's check, I would say send it because basically the money comes straight out of your account. It's done. You sent it. Something happens. You have your receipt to prove that you did have the money order. And then they can check to see if it's been cashed. And voila. You can get another one or it depends on where you get it from. Um, so because I know like at a bank, if you get like a cashier's check or a money order, it's a lot easier to get it back than um, if it's lost in the mail or something happens than it is if you get it from like a convenience store or if you get it from like CVS because I know they if you write on it and write the wrong person they don't take it back okay so enough with the little education okay so um, we're gonna do 120 so I'm gonna add a hundred dollar bill and I'm gonna add a twenty dollar bill so that should did I say one yeah we're gonna do 120 okay so we got one 20 40 60 okay so we're gonna add 160 back in our card taxes so this is pretty much done and y'all I am going to do this kind of botched <laughs> so it's not going to be perfect I'm just doing this for the video's sake so this one is pretty much done I'm going to put this to the side to let it dry just a tad bit all right so we'll stick that over there and then I'll put that back in there in a second so this is just ways how you can save for things that you have coming up. Basically what sinking funds is, and um, you can pretty much just add to it here and there. So when it's time to do it and pay it, you have the cash because basically it was $153.90. Um, that's how much I owed. As you can see here, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So all I needed to do is divide it by $21, not $21, by 21. But um, let's try that again. So we got 153, let's say 155 divided by 21. So that would give us like $7. So I just basically rounded it up. I did $10. That's about, that's about it. So that's an easy way to kind of figure out how you do it. Just take how many of like little cards you have or whatever you have divided by the amount that you need to get to. And that will tell you exactly how much you need to save each time. Okay, so I am going to write in here. So 922. Hope I, hope I counted those cards right. Y'all, let me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. All right. That was bothering me. I had to make sure I counted the correct cars okay so add cash so we're doing we did 120 so that made us have 160 and then when i go ahead and do the cashier's check i will write on here how much i paid and then i will have some cash left in there okay so next we're going to hop back over to amazon and i'm happy because i'm going to get myself something that kind of deals with amazon and I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys later. So make sure you stay tuned to figure out what I'm, what I'm gonna do for me with my money. I think this is pretty much dry, so I'm gonna actually put this back in here. I'll do it like that. All right, so let's head back to Amazon. Um, so Amazon, we already have thirty dollars. All right, so Amazon, our goal is one thirty nine, and we have ten dollars each. So, um, I think we are pretty much, so we need to add 110 because we have 30. So 10, 20, 30. So we need to have 110. So we're going to do a hundred dollar bill and we're going to do a $10 bill. See all this makes it so much easier to figure out what you need. Okay. So we got 110, 20, 30, 40. So when this actually comes out of my, um, cause I do have it coming out of my 
Amazon Chase card because you get points for that, then I can just basically deposit into the account or deposit it before it comes out and then I can um, pay the yearly subscription because you used to have the one where you do it monthly. But um, I finished this one time before and that's how I started with having the um, yearly subscription. And you save like, what, like 10, $14, I think. So we're gonna add cash, so we're adding 110. So we got 140 and that's what we got there. 110, 140 for that. And I am going to, just because I want to, I'm gonna check these bad boys off. That ain't no check. That ain't no check. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to, I'm gonna put this here just to make sure that it dries because I don't want it to get on my stuff. Did I put that in the right thing? No, I did not. This goes here. That's why I was like, oh, I was like, I did not put that in the right thing. Okay, so this, and then I'm just going to, this should be good by now. Put that there. Okay. Now, we put this back over here. All right, so next, we are going to be adding to my new $1,000 savings challenge. Now, these are coming, 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 coming. So we are pretty much working on all of the insides. And then, so when the binders come, put it together, I will post it on my social media because you guys have been messaging me, asking me when it's going to be available. I will post it on there. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I do post videos of when things release. Now, I am not doing pre-orders because the last wallets that I had, they were like they took forever so i was just like you've got to be kidding me so i want these in my hand i want them in my hand and then i will release them and we'll do it like that so yeah now this little savings challenge i started this um after i finished my 50 50 envelope challenge this is good for low income if you're just starting out now this challenge here you do not have to do it every single day you don't have to do it um you can do it every other day. You can do it if you do it once a day. I mean, grad day. I'm like, you do you. That's what I'm talking about. You get your savings on. If you want to do it once a month, you don't have to have a set schedule of when you want to do it. It's just for your convenience. If you have an extra $40, you sold something off the marketplace. Hey, I got 40 extra dollars. That's fine. Put it in there if you can. If you sold something on Macari, hey, I sold something $80. I can fill two envelopes totally up to you so you figure out in your budget what you can do and whenever you want to do it that's what a lot of the challenges i have i like to do it like that because i don't like it to be so stressful you know all right so we're going to do 120 dollars. so we're going to need 20 so two three four and i don't have enough i don't have enough 20s i don't think so i am I'm gonna have to dig in, I think Aiden's binder, his savings. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, let's do this. So we're gonna do this. This helps condense his anyway, so that this actually works for me. That will make his smaller. I guess I didn't get the right change. I thought I got more change, but I guess I didn't do too much what I was supposed to be doing. All right, so we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. Just wanna make sure that I have the correct amount to exchange, because y'all know a couple times I didn't put too much. And y'all are yelling at the screen like, Tana, you put too many fives. All right, so we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So we're gonna do 120, because we're gonna fill three um, envelopes up. So we got one, two, all right, so we got three envelopes that we're filling up. And I like this because it's so tiny and you can just like stick this and hide it anywhere. Oh, I don't even know why I closed it up, y'all. I'm doing the most here. All right, so let's go ahead. So we got 20, 40. And then put that in there. And then 20, 40. And then this is like easy way to save and if you don't have the twenty dollars the forty dollars i know a couple times when i was just starting out i would do i would like 
I know y'all check this out. I would do like a half a slash here and I would do a dot on whatever challenge I had and then I would do a dot there. So when I finished the 40, I could tell what I did, but I would do 120 one day and then when I got an extra 20 the next day, I would just go and add that to that and then that made my 40. So yeah, I just gotta be, get creative. All right, so that is what we got so far, guys. We are rolling, rolling. All right. So that is for that one. And next we have Aiden. Aiden is going to get $100 in his. Let me make sure I got this stuff. Make sure I put the top back on this thing. So Aiden is going to get 100 in his savings binder. So we got prop money, y'all. I'm going to be like, what is that prop money? <laughs> It's because people don't want to keep that much money at the crib. So we take this and put it in the bank. So this lets us know what we have in the bank um, to keep up with it at home. All right, so we got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 100, 200, 350, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. All right, so that's how much we got for Aiden's shoe things. And when we hit to 500, that's when we deposit it into the account. And then he will get a money placeholder placed in his binder. All right, so we'll put that there. Okay. So next, y'all, it's for me. It's for me. It's for me. All right, so um, this is what I'm going to actually get myself um, for. I know I got a lot of cash left. You're probably like, uh, you didn't stuff nothing, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so next we have, um, I'm gonna do, and this is gonna go in my personal money. Where are you at? Okay, you back here. As you can see, I don't have anything in my personal money. I just put 20 bucks in there and that is gone already. So next cash stuff, and like I told you guys, that's how you figure out how much money you need to stuff. As you can see, I just stuffed, $20 gone. Your girl needs to put more in there. So next time when I do my cash stuff thing, more will go into my personal envelopes than $20, okay? All right, so because of my hard work and me doing what I do, I'm gonna reward myself with some, let me flip it. I'm gonna reward myself with a Kindle Paper White. Yes, I am, because um, I have been reading a lot of books and I do have Audible and Audible from Amazon because I do like, I tried it out with the trial and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. So I ended up trying it and it's actually pretty beneficial because I can be working doing what I need to do and I can listen to books at the same time. So, and then I just figured out when I went to go look at it, cause I didn't look at the Kindle like a couple times. I didn't went to Target, went in there, but they were like looking at me like, what is this girl doing? But I went in there and looked and I did see on the back that it did say that it is compatible with Audible because that was like the deal breaker there because I was like, if I can't listen to Audible, then I just, this is not working for me. So um, I'm just going to get the eight gigs because I'm not going to have too much. But because um, Audible, you get like one free credit for a book every month. And I, have, I can't remember how much it is. But yeah, but um, I yeah through amazon and um you can use bluetooth speakers so i can use my airpods with the kindle paperwhite oh my goodness and um so that way i can just kind of read books or if i go somewhere i can just kind of like you know put one earbud in and then just read books so that way i'm not like having to always just stare at it so that was like a super plus so i'm gonna get a kindle paperwhite and target has it and it is, I think it's like 139, but you know what taxes it's gonna be. But I think I'm gonna pull out my trusty Target card, y'all. And I'm gonna put it on my Target card and then I'm gonna walk my butt right on up to customer service and give them this cash to pay it off of my card, all right? All right, so we are actually gonna be adding, I'm just gonna do 145 just to be on the safe side. Make sure I have enough. So we got 120, 40, 45. All right, so that's what I'm doing for me. All right, now. Y'all, they had these cute pink glittery hey dudes. Now, I'm still on the fence about them. I did want them, but now I'm like, eh, I don't know. But I am going to put the money to the side because um, I did see them on Amazon. They were like $43.10, but by the time I look now, they might be a different price. Um, but I am going to add $45 to... I didn't use as much fives as I thought I was. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Yeah, I am going to add... $45 just in case if I decide and then I can just um yeah 
just basically buy them um, and then just put the money in and pay it. So we have 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. All right. So 190 goes to me. So that's what I'm getting. Y'all, I'm so excited for that um, Kindle Paperweight. All right, so this money here left. What do you think I'm gonna do with it? Y'all, this money here is going to savings and I got a letter, well not a letter, an email from Ali Savings account saying that it was going up to two point something. I was like, what? I was like, are you serious? Cause at first it was like one and then it's two point something. So I was saying like the money that I have left It's going into my, going into savings account, y'all. All right, so we got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 850, 950, 1,000, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92. So we got 1,092, right? Let me count that over. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. 1092. So 1092 will be going to um, savings account um, because, like, yeah, because when they said about that um, email they sent me, I was like, mm. I was like, this junk going right on up in there. And that's how we rolling, right? All right. So that is how I spent my cash for my 50 envelopes challenge. Like I said, guys, it's super easy. You can do this. Um, you just have to be. I mean, I'm just like, you have to be consistent and just be dedicated to wanting to finish it, but we all got it. All right, so if you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and like, guys, please. And then if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that little red button and subscribe to my channel. If you have not followed me on my page, Instagram and TikTok is called A Pink Cloth Life. And then like I'll always say, until next time, guys, peace.